Hello, I'm Fred Lowe from Sarah Bright Dot Fly Fishing Guide Service. I've been teaching guiding, riding, and lecturing on fly fishing since 1982. Let's get to this week's fly fishing report. Storms have kind of moved through. We're looking at some nice weather, at least for a few days, hopefully a week or so. And that means we can get out, see what the snow's done, get out and kind of make sure we can get out to certain places. Upper elevation waters, well, because of the storms, I haven't been able to get out there, tell you exactly how clear they are. So for right now, if you're gonna drive the roads, be really careful. I had to uh, send some friends to Frosty Four Wheeler to get their Subaru unstuck, because I wasn't doing it. So just be careful out there. But if you can get up to the Upper Owens, you can get at least out to Benton Crossing and walk in to places. Hey, fishing's been good. We're seeing the trophy trout rainbows kind of decline. It's that time of the year, the run's pretty much declining and it's getting tougher and tougher up there. I'm still working the cut banks, the deep holes, and the um, deep runs, looking for those trophy trout, covering a lot of water with a lot of cast, and just using my three big confidence flies for that water. What are they? We should know them by now, but I'm gonna rattle them off anyways. The stoner nymph, the green gold, prince nymph, and a hot spot pheasant tail. All right, let's talk about Hot Creek. If you can get into Hot Creek, it'll fish really good right now. Just not getting a lot of fishing pressure. And what are the fish feeding on? Well, they're feeding on blue wing olive nymphs and a few of the dries. And they're also feeding on caddis pupa. So what I'm fishing in there, primarily targeting the blue wing olive nymphs, and I'm using a dry and a dropper or my Euro rod. And what am I fishing on there? Well, I'm using the classic olive quilligon, the hot spot pheasant tail, Frenchies, and a um, bead head flashback pheasant tail. And what am I using for the dry fly? Well, I like an Adams parachute or an elk care caddis. Okay, let's go down the hill and talk about the Lower Owens River. Man, it just continues to get better and better. Blue wing olives is providing most of the action, but there is some caddis activity and there is some midge activity. So I'm primarily fishing, same kind of flies for Hot Creek, the hot spot pheasant tails, the Frenchies, the olive quilligon, a beadhead flashback pheasant tail. But then I'm also using um, the stoner nymph in there because we're still seeing the winter squala stoneflies in the water and it's doing good. All right, no news on um, Bishop Creek Canal, that's good. It's still low, it's still clear. It's really tough to fish. So for the most part, I go out once a week, check it, fish it for a few casts, spooking fish right and left. So I'm really not fishing it hard like I do if the water will just come a little bit. Well, that's been this week's Fly Fishing Report. This has been Fred Rowe from Sarah Bright Dot Fly Fishing Guide Service. I can be found on Instagram, Facebook. You can find me every Tuesday at Mahogany Smoked Meats from 9 to 11 or on my favorite, lpptv.us.